Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to use HLOOKUP function in Excel. If your data is organized into horizontal rows, you can use the HLOOKUP function to search for a value in the first row of your data table and return a corresponding value from another row. Here, we have a table of data containing staff salaries. We can use HLOOKUP to locate a staff salary based on a staff ID. To get started, let's begin by entering the HLOOKUP command. Equals HLOOKUP. And open bracket. As you can see, the H lookup function takes four parameters lookup value, table array, row index number, and the range lookup. The first parameter that we want to enter is the value that we are trying to locate in the first row of this data table. So in our example, I want to search for the staff ID number 102. So for this lookup value, I will enter 102. And I'll put a comma. So next, the second parameter here that we need to enter is the data table that H lookup will use. The range provided must include the first row that will be searched for in our first parameter and the row containing our result, right? So this is the first row containing 102. And this row 5 is the row containing our result, which is the salary. So in this example, I will select for my data table, row B4 all the way to H6. Then I'll key in a comma. Next, I've, I've selected the data table, which is this part here. And next, I will select the row index number. So the third parameter that we must enter is the position number in the table where the, num where the return value can be found. A return value of one indicates first row, the first row. And this is the first row in my data table. A value of two indicates the second row, which is the row five here, and so on. Since we are looking for salary, which is the second row, first row, this is the first row, this is the second row, we will enter two here. All right, so two represents this row five, the salary row. So I'll put in the comma. Now, the fourth parameter here, range lookup, this is an optional parameter to specify whether you want to perform an exact match or an approximate match. When looking for the first parameter, this, all right, when looking for the first parameter, a value of false or zero, if you type in false, or zero means that HLOOKUP is looking for an, an exact match, All right? False means it looks for an exact match. If you type true, means it is looking for an approximate or close match. Unless you have very specific reason for looking for an approximate match, you should always use false or zero to, to return an exact match. Otherwise, HLOOKUP could return some unexpected result. Now that we have entered all of these four parameters, all right, all of the uh, HLOOKUP parameters, let's complete the command by closing the bracket and hit enter. So you should see 1,300 appear here. 1,300 is the salary that corresponds to the staff ID 102. 102, you get the salary 
1,300. So now this um, function is pretty inflexible because I have hard key in the staff ID 102. To make this H lookup function dynamic, we can change this hard-coded number to a cell. So let me select this one and point it to this cell, C9. All right. So now I have pointed this to C9. So if I ch now change the staff ID here to say 105, I should get 2000. So let me change here, 105, and, and I hit enter, and I get 2000. So if I try 106, yeah, the staff ID 106, it gives me the salary of 1002. Hundred. All right, that's it. This covers a simple example of how to use Excel's HLOOKUP function. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. If you are not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you can get notified about similar videos that we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.